So in one of my previous videos, I uh, was complaining about how much of a pain in the ass it was to change the battery in this uh, remote control. And I go through the whole process of changing, changing the battery in this remote, and uh, it turns out that the battery wasn't the problem. So I contacted Smitty Built, which if you watch my other video, which is changing the battery in my Smitty Built remote control, um, I go through what I did what I did. It's pretty, pretty simple stuff, and and quite frankly, I would just, uh, I mean, well, I want you to watch that one, but you can watch this one too. So, I contacted Smitty Built pretty much the day I did the remote control video, um, or the day after, and it turns out that uh, this is still covered under warranty, and it was an excellent, uh, excellent deal on their part. They uh, they immediately sent me out a brand new unit after proof of purchase um, to install in my truck. And, and this is the unit. Now, <laughs> this actually came with uh, everything. So it came with this new, much more robust remote control. So this is the new one. This is the old one. Uh, you can see just it's a completely different design. Um, this one even says on it, uh, remote will be automatically powered off after two minutes of non-operation, which is uh, something that this remote never did, and actually how I killed the battery in this one the first time. So, um, this is totally new. This is a seemingly much more, much more robust unit. It's definitely a little bit bigger, um, which is great. Uh, let me, uh, the switches and all are totally different. This is the new one. This is the old one. This has got a, a, a more sealed looking switch, uh, more marini type looking thing, um, which this should be marine grade. And it also has this little battery door in the back, which this one did not have. Um, so I'm assuming that I wasn't the only person that was ticked off about that. So that's that. Eh, whatever. So set that aside. I zoomed in a little, a little too much. So, in my zest to get this project underway, I actually already disassembled this thing, and I'm not going to put it back together to only take it apart again. <laughs> okay. So, um, it, this originally is supposed to mount on. This actually goes like this. Um, this is supposed to mount on top of the winch itself, but because of the way my design is, the, the, the way that my, I, my bumper is designed, uh, there's a shout out to Winch Ready also, which is who built the bumper, um, this won't fit where it's designed um, to fit. And it comes with these brackets, which are like a clamp-on type bracket. Um, and there's it's screwed in screwed on so and it had these screws in it I took the screws out I took these screws out and um, that's just what I did already uh, because I need I'm gonna change the whole box out except I don't think I'm gonna change the wires going to the box um, I did a little, oh, it also came with a new remote control cable, which I'm going to use. I'm going to take the old remote and pitch it. The, uh, the whole other unit is going to get put in a box somewhere and saved for my kid to throw away when I keel over dead. Um, so there's a bunch of differences between this box and the other box. And the major one being that this switch is a sealed switch. It's a much nicer switch than the old one. Um, and the inside, actually the inside looks pretty much the same. There's not a whole lot of difference. Um, they are still using these um, kind of sketchy looking uh, double tap connections, which is fine. There's no reason that you can't use those. Uh, the whole top of this thing has now been sealed with glue, so I'm assuming that, that water was intruding into this thing. Um, like maybe their manufacturer said, hey, the water, the this thing's water resistant, not waterproof. They sold it as waterproof. It ain't waterproof. Uh, the interesting side note is these wires on here are a, 
I call it aircraft, but it's not really aircraft. But they're the the insulation on these wires is like a cloth, um, which you see common in, is common in aircraft. Um, I have a feeling that this may have been what the problem was. The water was wicking into these and getting into the into this board here somehow. So whatever that is, it is. Um, <clears throat> now I am going to remove these wires from here and not from the winch itself. These are beautiful wires, they're beautiful connections and I shouldn't mess with them. But I'm kind of lazy and I don't feel like laying underneath my truck to do a job that I can do sitting on my ass on a stool in front of me. Uh, so I'm going to take these connections off, but I'm not going to take these connections off until I mark <clears throat> which connections are which because I don't want any sparks. Um, I don't want this project to go sideways on me. So this is a ground wire. This is a ground wire. This is the main vein power cable. Um, I'm not swapping this one. This is the whole reason I'm not changing this this way. Well, that and I want to sit on my ass when I do the job. Um, is this connection here. Now this is the main power lead, uh, which is about the same gauge as the other one. The only difference is this one has a, uh, um, uh, a more robusty style uh, guard on it. Insulation. And it's doubly, double insulated on this one. Uh, and then these two go to the winch. Actually, these three go to the winch. So there's this little thin ground wire which uh, is coming out of the relay. Um, and then these three go, all go, all, all four go into the relay. So this is a uh, this is ground wire, power ground, power lead, winch power, forward, winch power, reverse, winch ground. I haven't yet, I keep forgetting I got two cameras, I haven't yet actually um, taken this one apart and, and studied these wires. I'm going to do that now. And we're going to take this one apart, which I showed in another video, how I took it apart and how I modified it to fit onto this winch bumper. So I'm not going to I'm not going to tape that stuff. I'm just going to do it because moving the, I'm, I only want to move the cameras once, really. Uh, but I should add also, the, the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect the power from the battery in the truck because I don't want any sparks. I don't need any more excitement in my day. Uh, mainly because I'm just not totally awake yet and I just don't want any excitement. So disconnect the power. This is a hot lead coming right off the battery. If that thing goes to ground, it's going to be a fireworks show. You know, God knows what it'll catch on fire with my luck. So here's the winch controller as it's mounted on the truck itself. Um, I had to custom build this uh, to fit on here. Um, as you can see from the the uh, uh, the setup, the winch is kind of set back into this bumper. This is a beautiful bumper. I love it. Everybody thinks it's the coolest bumper in the world. And it is. Um, it was well worth the twelve or thirteen hundred dollars I paid for it. So the very, very, very first thing I need to do here with this project is I need to disconnect this power line coming from my, the positive line on my battery. Okay, so I need to take this control box off completely. Um, let me get a little. Eh, I can just stick it on here. I'm a big fan of those magnetic little trays, but these hard this hardware is stainless. So it's kind of not worth um, putting on a magnetic tray. So this needs to come off. In my previous video, I went through all of the different steps that I used to troubleshoot this. And um, I, I, if, if I didn't go through all the steps, but I went through enough of them to, you know, this is, it was basic electrical troubleshooting. Um, which there's a lot, ooh, uh -oh, a lot better videos on that. <coughs> there's a lot better, lot better videos on on that. Uh, how to wire a relay, how to troubleshoot it. Um, it just wasn't worth it for me to do that. OK, 
Okay, now this will now come off. All right, I'm gonna give this a little tug. And I'm gonna turn it over. I think I might put a drop of silicone or sealant or right stuff or something underneath of this thing. All right, I'm gonna take these screws out. Now these screws are in the original mounting position. Uh, these are the original mounting screws for the original mount. Um, the aluminum is really pretty nice cast aluminum these things um, this was mounted on there which I showed already but I made these <coughs> these are actually made out of stainless steel as you can see the screws are not stainless but is what it is I'm going to replace these screws with the new ones that came right, so I'm going to hang on to that. Let's set that aside for a minute. Set this, take this one off. Now, I cannot stress enough, or, you know, if I need to reiterate, this was not factory. I had to, <clears throat> I had to make this. I'm sure I could have, um, uh, I'm sure I could have done something different, but this is the way I chose to do it. And, and for me, it works out pretty good. It took as much time as I thought necessary to make the brackets. The brackets themselves are made out of stainless steel also. Uh, I just happened to have that strapping laying around. This is a bit of a pain in the dick, but quite frankly, it's not something that you do on a regular basis. I mean, I theoretically I should never have ever had to do this short of taking this thing off completely now I had mentioned in at the very beginning of the video that the this power cable had, from the factory had a, a much nicer um, cable armor on it uh, I when I installed this the first time I installed uh, supplemental cable armor over the power positive power lead. Uh, I was also very careful on how I routed this power line. That's why I'm not. Uh, that's why I'm not doing it that way. That's why I'm not swapping it out, um, the entire box out, and I'm only swapping out the connections on the new box to the old box. I'm going to check that wiring. That's what I'm doing right now. So this comes off and reveals the guts of the unit. And oh, no, it looks the same. Okay, we're good to go. So let's set the new one next to the old one here. Just get a little bit better idea what's cooking. Womp, womp, womp. So as you can kind of see here, these units, the, the, the relays are very similar, if not identical. Oh, man. My wife's got me on a diet and it's making me very farty. Um, so these are, are, are basically identical um, outwardly. Inwardly, there's obviously something different going on. Uh, yeah, they absolutely changed this somehow. Either that or they just flipped it around. Yeah, so these are different. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to be kind of careful about how I do this. So I widened that shot out a little bit. I didn't realize I wasn't getting both into the same shot here. So this is what I got going on. I'm going to get a creeper and I'm going to lay underneath this thing real quick with a flashlight and just make sure that these all kind of line up the same. Actually, I'm, I'm not exactly sure which way is going to be easier to do this. Yep. 
the ground wire on this one is way shorter than the ground wire on the other one. I'm going to definitely have to look at this a little bit closer. I don't necessarily want to swap out too much stuff if I don't have to. Now, I drew myself a little map here. Uh, and here's the little map to the way that this is supposed to go back together. Um, if I had not, if I wasn't so distracted right now, I, I would be able to do this without having to do it. Just swap one for one. But I kind of want to take this one off completely, get it out of the way, and then do the other one. Um, I'm going to take the other one apart on the bench. That's the other thing. Is I got the bench set up over here. Now, I'll go back to this one. I think these are going to get a drop of Loctite. <laughs> there's, a certain, there's a certain level of irony with this whole deal with this particular, what I'm doing right here. And when I rebuilt, when I started to work on the truck, I, I didn't want to disconnect any of this stuff. And what I ended up doing was slinging the winch off the front of the truck and building like a little protective thing and blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, I ended up having to take all this shit apart again. Anyway, some corrosion on that one. That's a little bit disheartening. Yeah, I got a feeling that Smitty built knew they had a problem um, long before I got into this. Because they never even questioned other than, you know, where did you buy it about replacing this thing. Now, whenever I get that I always kind of think, hey, maybe somebody knows something I don't. All right, so that's there, that's there, that's there. I'm going to yank this one off. That's the, that's the main dealio. All right, so this one is now kaput. Gonna just take a little bit of gray Scotch Brite and clean these connections up real quick. Just for my own, just a little clean on them. These nuts all have serrations on the back side of them. So, <coughs> so where you would normally use like a star washer, um, you don't really need to do that. The other thing I might do is put a little dielectric grease on these. I hate that shit, but I think that might be in order. Out come the gloves. All right, the gloves came out. You know, it's an ugly job. Or I'm touching grease. I really don't like grease. And here's the new one. Ugh. And here's the tube of dielectric grease in its own little bag. Because I think I may either poke the hole in it or I just really don't like grease. I'm going to say I may have poked a hole in this thing somewhere. Eek. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, so I'm going to put a drop oop, there. Just a blob there. Uh, this might be redundant, or not necessary at all, but after taking these fittings apart, or connections apart, and seeing a little bit of goop in there, this is just a cheap insurance policy for me. Now, I'm going to use the new hardware that came with that came with the new um, with the new part because the these are serrated bolts or nuts um, and these have a little bit of well, these aren't too bad they have a little tiny literally imperceptible amount of corrosion on them um, so they're dead to me I don't want these to move uh, even though I have my map here, I don't want to. I don't want to disturb them too much. 
so we're going to do C. We'll pop and move that over there. Well, job wouldn't be complete if I didn't drop a bolt. I can't reiterate enough how good or how happy I am with the quick response from Smitty Built. They, they really they jumped right up to the plate to take care of this problem for me. Um, it was uh, really kind of a stand-up move on their part. There we go. go that's that that's that okay now I just need to tighten these up and then I'm going to do a quick test while well, hook the battery back up and then just do a quick test run on them um, it's very important when you do these I had mentioned earlier that these connections are tight and also that they're properly routed um, once this thing's in place I don't want to move it around too much. Um, the, the bugaboo one is this one right here. This is the main power feed in. Alright, now I'm going to get my other wrench. The one that said, I'll never throw these away. And I'm going to give it a nice little, tighten it down like I mean it. Oh, that diet getting me again. That's not touching. All right. So there we go. I am not going to put this back together right away. What I am going to do is drop the battery connection down here. Ooh, only a little spark. Good to go. I got all kinds of power draw on this thing. Now, theoretically, I'm going to put the clutch in free spool because I don't want to cut my fingers off. <sighs> Take off these gloves because I don't want to get grease on my shit. Turn that on. Turn that on. Well, that's no fucking good. Ow. You know what? That just could be a bad connection. Oh, let's try that again. Alright. So that was just a loose connection at the battery. Turn it off. It does nothing. Turn it on. Turn this one off. It does nothing. It'd be nice if that switch was lighted. Just because. Eh, it's not. Oh well. Okay. So that's basically it. I'm going to do a... I'm just going to button this up. Bolt it back on. And it's fixed. So basically that's it. Um, the rest of it's just button it up. You, you, showed, you saw how I took it apart. Um, assembly is the same as this assembly. I am going to take uh, my disgusting dielectric grease. And I'm going to just slather the, all those connections and fittings. Um, double check to make sure that my connection on the battery is still in good shape and just button the whole thing up the way it was done before um, shout out to Chaz, chad at smitty built for taking care of this for me um, it wasn't 
a big deal uh, to swap it over. Um, as you can see, it was a pretty robust design, uh, a much more robust design than originally purchased. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with everything. And now I can get back to doing the winch jobs that I need to do in a safe and effective manner using my remote control as opposed to the wired one. Uh, I am going to swap out the wire um, and obviously not leave home without it just in case. Um, but I might actually take this apart and see if the batteries are the same. If they are, then I'm going to take the batteries out of the old one and throw them in the box, um, in my box of goodies so they can leak and damage something. Uh, but having a spare battery for this thing is pretty important. While I have this in my hand, I want to see what I got, what, what's inside it. I'm curious. Oh, that screw's not stainless. Ooh. Oh, well, look at that. All right, so it's the same battery. Okay, but it's just a much better setup. It's a shame I don't think I can fit a spare in there. Doesn't look like it wants a spare. All right, so that solves that problem totally then. And that's the new way to change the battery. So I'll take the batteries, this, the new batteries, and I'll, I'll put them in a little, little bag and I'll throw those in my box. I mean, and, and this screw actually came out pretty easy. All right, so they're, they're the problem. They re, re-engineered it so it's not such a pain in the ass mm. thanks for watching i hope you learned something um make sure to check out my other video where i bitch about this uh that is uh i don't and I just look at all the videos and you'll see it it's winch battery replacement i don't know how to put links and shit in uh so that's it thank you smitty built you stood behind your product back to winching